Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are back on the internet doing some stupid things. That's right. <coughs> Today, we're gonna answer some would you rather questions. And these are rather ridiculous, I must say. We're starting off with the first one. I need to decide whether I will get hit by a bus or watch a loved one get hit by a bus. Oh no, not a bus! Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I'm alive. Buses are scary, man. They're, they're large vehicles. And they go pretty quick. But you know what? I'm gonna be a little bit selfish here and say that I will want to watch a l Wait, I need to watch him? I need to watch him get hit by a bus. Okay, so I actually need to stare at my friend or whoever really? and look at him get hit by a bus. Hey, but technically it doesn't say how fast. So I want I want a friend to get hit by a bus with one mile an hour. <laughs> selfish, I know. Would you rather be resistant to cold and impossible to freeze to death or be resistant to heat and impossible to burn to death? Well, you know what? It is summer right now and it's boiling outside and not just inside, it's boiling in this room as well. Like there's sweat coming down. Oh. So right now I feel like being resistant to heat would be a little bit better. And I can't die when I'm standing in flames. But then again, when it's winter times in, in Holland, it can get really cold, and sometimes I feel like I'm about to freeze to death. <laughs> but seriously though, I, I I think I'd rather do the resistant to heat one, because it's it's boiling, all right? It's boiling. The earth is only going to warm up even more, all right? It's boiling everywhere. Would you rather eat a chocolate-covered turd? Ooh. <laughs> or eat a turd-covered chocolate? <laughs> hmm. All right, well, I, I'd rather do none of that, okay? But what's worse, eating a turd or eating a chocolate? Eating an actual turd is probably worse. So I think I'd rather eat chocolate covered in turd. Because it's just a little layer you have to go through, all right? And then it's, then it's the good part inside. Because <laughs> when you eat a turd that's covered in chocolate, it'll look great, but it's gonna taste absolutely disgusting and you're probably gonna wanna throw up. I'll throw up either way anyway, so uh... <laughs> Okay, eat the shirt, cover the chocolate. Okay, nobody disagrees. Nobody agrees with me. Great. Thanks, internet. You're doing great. Great sight. Love it. If you could only choose one futuristic accessory to own, would you rather own Google Glass or Apple Smartwatch? <laughs> Is this even the future anymore? Like, Google Glass was something of three years ago. It was these stupid little glasses that make you see weird things like, oh, I just got a message. And then you've got Apple smartwatch, which is, I mean, I've got one and I don't use it because it's useless. It's an add on to your phone. You can, again, only see if you've got a message. Either way, a phone is actually the most useful thing and I wouldn't really want a Google Glass or Apple smartwatch, but I'd say Google Glass is a little bit cooler. <laughs> Oh, people agree! Mm. Would you rather believe your friends like you? My friends like me, right? Wait, I don't have any friends. <laughs> or know exactly what your friends think about you. So in my scenario, because I don't have any friends, none of it matters. Hey, I'm the best! Okay. <laughs> but seriously though, if, if you would have friends, would you rather believe that they like you or know exactly what your friends think about you. But if they're your friends, they'll probably like you. So the second one would be better, right? The second one would be better. And people agree with me. Look at that, 84% rolling in the dollar bills. I should have put money on this. I should have put dollars on this. Would you rather be male or be female? <laughs> I don't think we should get into the whole gender thing in this video. I'll get demonetized. YouTube, give me money. Stop, I won't answer. Would you rather have a significant other that doesn't speak or have a significant other that doesn't listen? Hmm. See, not listening is probably worse than not speaking because there's other ways to communicate these days. You know, you got these like hand talks. I, I don't know what you call them. It's what deaf people use, right? Hello, how you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> This is not really funny. Or have a significant other that doesn't listen. See, having someone with you and loving someone that doesn't listen to you is probably a lot worse. So this one's easy, man. This one's easy. There we go, 79% agrees. Why would you have someone that doesn't listen to you? All right, it's gonna be really annoying. It's gonna be stressful. Would you rather take a picture or have your picture taken? I just wanna lay back, enjoy the day and have my picture taken. Smile, come on. Take a picture, please. 
I mean, taking pictures is fun, you know, like, it's cool, but having your picture taken is probably a lot easier. Why does that suck at taking pictures anyway? Would you rather wear a ski suit all the time? Maybe if I live on the north of Norway, or go everywhere barefoot. I actually know someone in real life that goes everywhere barefoot. Well, not everywhere, not to like weddings and funerals, but apart from that, they do it, but being barefoot's maybe a little bit weird. Although I heard that if you walk barefoot all the time, like, you know, your feet will get so strong from the like underside that even if you step on a needle, it won't go through. Your feet will be like its own shoe, all right? At the end of the day, we used to be apes. They don't wear no shoes, you know what I mean? But then again, wearing a ski suit all the time, I'm not sure what's worse, showing up at a funeral in a ski suit or going to a funeral barefoot. Probably the ski suit's worse. I I'm gonna say go everywhere barefoot. People agree. Thank you, thank you. One more time. <laughs> Would you rather know a few things about everything or know everything but only a few things? Oh wait, uh, uh, I read it wrong. Know everything but only about a few things. Okay, so either you'll know a little bit of everything in the world, which is pretty cool, or you know everything but only about a certain subject. See, technically, I think you would get more successful to know everything about only a couple things. As long as you focus on that and you make your dollar bills on that, you'll be successful if you know everything about that. Look, look at Einstein, for example. Do you think he knew, um, uh, uh, what did he not know about? Do you think he knew how to make a proper sandwich like a good old bakery does? I think so. I don't think Einstein knew how to do that. Einstein knew everything about the galaxy and the beautiful stars and the earth and yeah. So I, I think I'd go for the red one, you know? You know, I, I, I want to be smart about something. Okay, people disagree. God dang it! If you were to be crippled, would you rather ooh, break an arm with a slightly painful infection ooh, or break a leg? without no disgusting infection. If me, you know, if I break a leg, what will I not be able to do? If it's my left leg, I will probably still be able to drive because I drive an automatic car and I can use my right leg for that. I won't be able to walk. I'll need a wheelchair, but I can still go around. I won't be able to bike, which is a little bit sad. But then again, who bikes these days? But if I break my arm, I won't be able to hold no controller. It'll be harder to put a t-shirt on. It'll be harder to grab things. I won't be able to grab anything. Dang, I'll break a leg, man. Any day, I'll break a leg. Break it, come on. Oh, not, not now. Ah! Would you rather live in a castle? Ooh, hello. I'm rich now. <laughs> or own a yacht? Ooh, I'm still rich. <laughs> so, with both places, you've got a lot of upkeep, right? Living in a castle, I mean, you gotta clean that place, get a gardener, you gotta, I don't know, fix things that break, because it, it's a castle, it's probably a really old building. But owning a yacht, you gotta pay for a place to keep it, you know? Like, you think a parking place in the water is very cheap? Oh no, it's not. Imagine the upkeep of a yacht. I, I believe it's around 10% of the value of the yacht per year. So let's say the yacht is worth $10 million. You gotta pay $1 million just to keep it up. Keep floating, you know? Otherwise it'll sink to the bottom just like the and oh, oh, I can't say that. Which one is more valuable when I sell it? In my opinion, it, it, it doesn't say how much each is gonna be, but I think living in a castle and selling the castle is probably more valuable than owning a yacht. Let's say you get a new yacht, right? You keep it for two years, you sell it, It'll be worth half of what you bought it for, or what you got it for. A castle on your end, you've got a whole bunch of land. Imagine having a castle in London, and you've got a whole bunch of land, and then you can sell the land, and because London is so expensive now, you'll be rolling in the dollar bills. Uh, yeah, pounds, not dollar bills. You'll be rolling in pounds. A lot of pounds. Living in a castle, boys. That's what we're doing. Would you rather have no family or have no friends? Oh my goodness. It is probably the most difficult one ever. Actually, no, it's not. I don't even have any friends. <laughs> then again, having no family, having no one related to you is probably a million times worse than having no friends. I gotta agree. It's a, it's a sad one, man. I can't, I can't be without my family. Yeah? Oh. My girlfriend just came in and she had a good one, but jelly. You can make a family. I like that thinking, lady! Wanna start now? 
<laughs> so that's true. You'll have friends, and eventually you'll have a family. Best thinking ever. I'd, I'd rather have no family. Wait, but does that mean you can't reproduce and make your own family? I don't know, but I'm going with no family, because I like that thinking. Although I wouldn't give my family up for my friends, all right? I won't do that. Would you rather meet your idol, Hochester Bieber? What are you doing here? I'm just here because I like your videos. Really? You're a fan? I can't believe it. Uh, he's not a fan. Or would you rather be popular at school? Uh, I never went to school. Uh... I'm just kidding. I did go to school. That's something that Josh always says, and it's not true. He's a year younger than me, by the way, and he didn't go to school either. Anyway, I would rather, I guess, be popular at school. I, I think meeting your idol is more disappointing because then there's nothing else. But if you're popular at school, you know, maybe I'd rather meet my idol because being popular at school is it, it's not important. Nobody cares. The moment you leave school, you're nothing. So I'd probably meet my idol. Yep. People agree. Yay. Oh, you never have to do one of the two. Would you rather never tie your shoes again? Mm, I never do that anyway. Or never untangle headphone wires again. I never do that either. I have wireless ones. This is not, not really a question I can relate to, to be honest. If I had to choose, never tying my shoes is probably the worst. I don't know. Everything's gonna go wireless anyways, so this one's this one's dumb. I, I go for that one. Hey, nobody agrees. I'm doing great. Would you rather drink a gallon of mustard in one sitting or use mustard as toothpaste for three weeks? Uh, this one's disgusting either way. But, I'd feel like getting over with it quickly, just drinking a gallon of mustard, probably going to be a little bit more hygienic than only using mustard as toothpaste. Yeah, I'm gonna drink a gallon, see you later. Would you rather live forever, or until the end of the universe? It's gonna be a long time, I think, I hope. Or die right now with no afterlife. Wow, no afterlife, eh? I guess it depends what you believe in. Some people believe that the afterlife means that your soul just goes into a different body. Some that some people think you go to heaven. Oh, my nose is so itchy, ah. And living forever doesn't mean that you won't age. So technically, you'll be millions of years old. People who are over 100 can barely even move. So how is that gonna work out? You ain't gonna feel great. All your friends and family will have died. You won't know anyone. You're on your hundred dog, you know? I'd probably die right now with- Die right now? I don't wanna die right now! What? But imagine, if you live forever until the end of the universe, and humans extinct! All the humans die on this planet! You're the last one alive? It's gonna be a little bit sad, but I'll, I'll, I'll let her do that, I think. I don't wanna die right now. Hell no. Would you rather have the feeling of being kicked into testicles for 12 hours a day? Ah, oh no, I can't, I can't live with that. Or never be able to produce healthy children. You know what? I just skip producing any children then. I think I, I just won't have any kids, I think. I can't live with pain every day. I'll just skip some kids. I'll just adopt some. There you go. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the last Would You Rather question. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I did. I had a good time, all right? I had a little laugh. I had a good time. Let me know in the comments if you agreed with me on most of these questions. They were rather tough. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button. And also, make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on JellyStore.com.